am good mohammed coal and petroleum but before starting this topic we'll discuss some important points now so in our day to day life we use various substances isn't it and uh, raina it is from second module now so in our day to day life we use several things and these basic needs either fulfilled by natural resources or by man made resources isn't it very good khushi very good okay now so let's start in our daily life we use several things fine and these several things are basic need so our basic need basic need this basic need is either fulfilled by is either fulfilled by natural resource or a man made resource isn't it natural resource or man made resource very good debo now so in this chapter we'll discuss about natural resources so now tell me what are natural resources what do you understand by term natural resource if i say natural resource what do you understand very good so which means these things are obtained from nature fine very good rishita so these natural resources these are of obtained from nature obtained from nature very good now what is resource anything from which a benefit is produced is known as resource so anything which satisfy our need or benefit is produced is known as resource now natural resource all those things which gives benefit which satisfy our need and which are obtained from nature are known as natural resource now so some of the example of natural resources are sun sun is an example of natural resource water fine now minerals air soil these are the few examples of natural resource few examples of natural resource fine now so this natural resource is further classified into two types depending upon their availability fine yes mohammed absolutely correct so this natural resource is further classified into exhaustible and inexhaustible resource depending upon their availability okay natural resource is further classified into two types let's discuss these points also so depending upon their availability natural resource are further classified into two types number 1 is exhaustible natural resource natural resource and the second one is inexhaustible natural resource yes mohammed you are correct now so what do you understand by term exhaustible exhaustible means they are present in limited amount fine 
so they are present in limited amount and can be exhausted by human activity very good debo so now number one points present in limited amount present in limited amount fine and these can be exhausted by human activity can be exhausted by human activities fine their quantity is unknown mohammed but they are in limited amount now inexhaustible so inexhaustible are totally different from exhaustible like totally opposite from exhaustible so first point they are present in unlimited amount now next point can be exhausted no they cannot be exha exhausted cannot be exhausted by human activities now these difference are clear to everyone okay now yes nivedita very good okay fine so can you give me example of exhaustible and inexhaustible resources examples very good sarvesh very good everyone so examples are coal and petroleum they are also known as fossil fuel coal and petroleum very good now wildlife forest these are also exhaustible now in exhaustible like air water fine yes so these are the etc these are the some examples of exhaustible and inexhaustible you can see this in picture so exhaustible coal petroleum wildlife animals minerals these are exhaustible and inexhaustible sunlight wind water these are the example of inexhaustible resources this is mineral minerals wildlife wildlife and forest coal petroleum so these are the exhaustible natural resources now sunlight sunlight is inexhaustible now wind wind is also inexhaustible water is also inexhaustible but still you must have heard about say water fine why we why people want to say water if water is inexhaustible can you give me answer water is inexhaustible why we every time people suggest us to save water okay anybody else very good shruti and khushi very good everyone very good nivedita yes no one is saving water it's a different story but yes because water which is present in earth water which is suitable for human use is very less and that is why we have to save fresh water fine fit water most of the water which is present in oceans are not fit for human use clear so don't get confused water is inexhaustible but water which is suitable for human use is inexhaustible fit your writing work okay sarvesh anjali raghav do it fast very 
वेरी गुड लव कुश सो बोथ आर प्रीशियस इन 